Ladies and gents, welcome back to another Tarkov video with me, Blackwell, here at Blackwell TV. In today's video, we're looking at Background Check, which is a proper quest, um, and it is available over on Customs. Let's accept that one. And let's take a look then. How's it going, Warrior? I have an errand for you. My comrade, Arsony worked at the factory as a tanker driver. Uh, his family left during the evacuation while he stayed behind to make some extra money and perished here. He lived in the three-story dorm near Polykim. I don't remember the room. Anyway, he had a, uh, a, ch a chain watch, a family heirloom. He bragged about it to everybody. Find that watch and bring it to me. I want to send it to his kid. I want the kid to have something to remember his old man by. The watch must be either in his room or in the tanker truck somewhere at the construction site. Arsene always kept the keys in his jacket. Anyway, do the job. So long. So if you do that, you'll get yourself some XP, some proper rep, some rubles, a Toz Siminov SKS, and uh, three packs of 762 by 39 FMJ. So, uh, so there you go. Two tasks. One is optional, and that is obtain the key to the fueler tank truck, which you can do on a scav. And the other one is to locate and obtain the bronze pocket watch on customs. Just note, if you do not have this quest active, the pocket watch will not spawn. So bear that in mind. You can't jump the gun on this one. Um, you have to accept the quest and then go and do it. So what we're going to do is head over to our scav. We're going to go and get the key. Okay, so we're going to go as our scav. And we're going to go to customs because it's zombie free. And also useful for this, uh, for this task. So we're going to go in. And hopefully we'll obtain the key that we need um, for our PMC. Okay, let's scav in Tarkov. So we're currently experiencing a, um, a Halloween event. The weather's changed slightly. It's now fall weather. So, you know, there's a lot more orange on the trees and that kind of thing. Um, as we are in a Halloween event, there are zombies all over most of the maps. At the moment, customs is clear. So it's just back as you were, normal. PMCs, scavs bosses you know that kind of thing um but some of the other maps are absolutely brutal right now if you're going in with your pmcs during this halloween event then just know that you know you're at a higher percentage chance of losing everything that you're taking in so uh, so yeah that's why we're on customs anyway um also one of our tasks is on customs so that's why we're here we don't have much gear as you uh, as you can tell we are very skeletal with this scav but Hopefully we can get over to dorms and see um, where this key location is. We're supposed to be going over to the three-story building. Uh, we want room 205 and there's a yellow coat inside. But with the limited gear that we have, we won't really be able to defend ourselves if we come up against any PMCs. So, so for background check, you need to get the machinery key. And then you need to head over to this sort of area here where there's an orange tanker. And take the pocket watch from the uh, from the vehicle and extract with it. So, yeah, we are early in the quest. Hopefully, we can stay danger free for this one. It's just a nice little scav run in, nice little scav run out. But I know there are PMCs always in the area, particularly in dorms on this uh, PVE server. We don't really have the weaponry to take anybody on, so. Got to try and evade where we can. Also, don't be too hard on yourself if if you do die. You know, it's a scab. You're not meant to be Rambo. I heard footsteps. Okay, that looks like a scab. That's a two-story over there. We need the three-story. We need 205, so I imagine that would be the middle ground. Yeah, these are three O's, so let's go downstairs. And it should be this set. Right, we've got 202, 201, so it should be this side. That's 203. It's this one here. That should be a coat. Oh, they're both blue. Okay, that's interesting. The wiki said there would be a yellow coat. There's a key that we need. We'll take that. 
we do still need to tear this key out to pass it over to our PMC. Look another one. Oh my god. Well, yeah, if we magically mess this up, we've got a few keys, haven't we? As long as we can get them to our PMC safely. So, it is confirmed. You can get these keys on your scav, which is really cool because it takes a little bit of the pressure off having to come here as a as a PMC. So you can get it as a scav. It is only a one-use key as well, so maybe it's useful. We've got a couple of them. But we, we still need to exfil. We need to avoid PMCs. We need to just... Uh, Sort of stay relaxed, really. We don't need to get into any bother, do we? Is it old? Old gas, okay. Let's go have a checkpoint, military base CP, which is checkpoint all the way up the other end. Alright, well, we've got to head that way anyway. I did see another, yeah, look there. He looks like a, a scout. There's nothing in here. I mean, to be fair, that looks like a PMC. That looks a lot like a PMC. Looks like they were carrying an MDR. But there's no point in me engaging with that. He ain't shooting me. Leave him. We've got these keys to get out. He had an U latch as well. I don't know. Even now, to this day, and I've played a few wipes. I'm not a veteran of the game. I'm not an expert. That's why I'm. That's why I'm doing these videos. Um, and that's why they're not, you know, the most efficiently. I, I've never claimed that these videos are the most efficient way to complete a task. It's just a playthrough task by task to showcase the game and my experience with it um yeah even to this day i still i'm finding shortcuts i'm still unsure of pmcs and scavs that's a scav isn't it? on pvp servers you can get pmcs that look like this because pvp you want to blend in you want to hide you want to make sure you know you get every advantage you can so, yeah, on PvP servers, you get players doing that. Something I realized recently is you don't have to go through the uh, new gas at all. So I'm quite happy with the little shortcut. Because sometimes there's boss in there. Um, is it Rashala sometimes in there? And he will shoot you on sight if you're a, a scav, because he knows that you're a player scav. So... I've adopted the idea of... Oh, of very badly climbing on top of this pipe, giggity. But there we go. And then running and jumping over the barbed wire. Look at that. That's far easier for me than having to go through there and worry. And trust me, I go through there and worry quite a lot. Wow, what's all this stuff? A completely pointless bag. I'll take it because we can sell it. No. So yeah, um, finding shortcuts still. If you know any shortcuts, let me know. Uh, please do. You know. Um, Help me out and also, you know, flex that you know the maps even better than I do. Absolutely. Love to hear that. And then, yeah, discovering, you know, I, I've watched some YouTube videos on how to identify scavs and PMCs. Even now, with the information in those videos, it's difficult because 
They say that PMCs have holsters. Well, so do scavs on certain attire. So it is, it is difficult. When we first started playing it um, on the previous wipe that I was playing, we were all wearing armbands and that was completely useless. Completely useless exercise. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. Because by the time you've spotted them wearing an armband, You've already communicated who they are, so... Yeah, kind of makes the whole exercise a little bit pointless. One thing I do prefer on the PvE side of things is... Um, less, less camping, less ratting. PMCs do take cover against walls like this and wait a while, but... You know, it's not just a case of someone's hiding in a bush waiting for you to exfil and then they shoot you a second before you get out. Unless something goes madly wrong here, we should be able to get out of here quite comfortably. Magnet and wires. We'll take that. We're taking it now just for the... Uh, for the cash rally, really, because I don't think we need any of this stuff. I don't think I opened this bag up either. Let's have a quick look. Should be empty. Yeah. Nail, Zeno, and Tushonka. Okay, put that there. I don't think there's anything in the truck. No, we'll just exhale. So there we go, we've got a stockpile of keys for our PMC. Right, we are back on customs and this is our loadout. We're going with an Org A3. Got some morphine in the pocket as well. Um, there are going to be zombies everywhere. Hopefully we can get over to the uh, the orange truck. Get the, get the pocket watch and get out of there. But there are zombies everywhere, so there's a chance that we might not make this. There's a high probability <laughs> that we will fail. Okay, let's get ready to escape from Zombie Tarkov. <clears throat> okay, so we are back on customs. And we're down by smugglers. How good's that for us? That's pretty, pretty nice. There are zombies everywhere, just got to take it slow, hopefully avoid them. There's a slim chance that we get through this, but we've got to give it a go. We have to try. gas station, dorms, got to get the thing first. Lost that key. Got the watch. Now, I can't go dorms because I don't have any cash. That's a problem. So, option number two, where would that be? Old gas. of a trek, isn't it? Through Fortress. 
out the other side of Fortress. Just thinking climbing up things, hiding away from zombies. I'm not sure I can manage that, but we'll, we'll give it a try. Old Gas is one of those ones that might not be up, isn't it? Yeah. Realistically, though, we'll have to head down that way. We don't have the cash for dorms. And then ZB11 and ZB13. Let me go this way. Try and get under the train cars. something. Don't know if it's just ambient noises. Okay, we're under here. If old gas is up, then that's great because we can go straight there, get out. Straight into the basement and then out. If that's not up, we'll have to go through, jump over the wall or go under the bridge and then leg it all the way down to factory far corner and essentially go down the end get our stamina back up. I guess crouch walking's doing us in a bit. Right, looks like it's the end of our end of our line here for now. So we'll stay crouched and creep until we need to run. When we need to run, we need to run probably for that truck there. Can noises around here. These noises are horrible. <laughs> if we're making progress while being creepy and creepy creeperson over here, then the last thing I want to do is hit legs and sprint. Because if our boots give us away, we're just going to have zombies chasing us the whole time. And I don't know if that's something I can put up with. <laughs> I've had a very terrible time with this zombies event. It's not the one. Not even close to being the one. Bloody awful, this event. So we can climb over this bit here, but I just want to check to see if the green smoke's up. Because if it is, we might be able to get out there. seen any green smoke from the off there. I don't want any zombies in the area to see us. That's not up, is it? Okay. We shall come back. We need to go to ZB11. Which is still quite a long way away if you think about it. You've got to go all the way around then because you can't jump over the gate where the train car is. As long as the scabs don't shoot at us, we're not a sitting duck as much as we could be. I just know that if zombies are now in the area, then we are in trouble because we've got nowhere to run and hide and jump. We'll keep that crouch on. We don't want to get foolish now and start walking and jogging. If the crouching is doing us some favours, you know. So... 12's here. We might have 12 actually. We'll definitely check for that because we're going to pass it anyway. Oh, I see somebody. And if I see him, that means I, he sees me, right? Fuck that. Lights on, green, green smoke. 
get the door open for fuck's sake. zombies. That was it. Oh, God. <laughs> that was two zombies. Two. That was it. Just two. And I pretty much diminished two magazines. And I didn't even kill the second one. They're so janky. Headshot. I've noticed that you need two bullets to kill them with a headshot. Which is awful. And that was 1.8 meters away. Good. Lord. Right, we are back at the main menu. Head to traders, go to tasks, and it's proper you want to turn in. So we've got the pocket watch. We will turn that over. And make sure you hit complete so that you, you know the task is complete. You know what? I didn't think you'd find it, but big thanks to you regardless. This was, you might say, a personal matter. Anyway, here's the reward. So, we ended up with... Some FMJ ammo for uh, the SKS, I would imagine. 7.6239s. Yep. And some rubles as well. Let's receive all that. And there we go. Task complete. If you did like this video, by all means, leave me a, uh, a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And uh, drop it in the comments. Any thoughts, any queries. I'll catch you on the next one.